Welcome back guys to another Segway Saga video. <laughs> oh man, I just, you know, can't beat myself every single time. I'm screwing it and I'm screwing it and I'm screwing it. <laughs> so let me show you what I kind of figured it out. So right now I got one of the batteries running. So let me show you right there. You guys can see we have the magic green light. And then the second one, we're gonna rebuild the second one right now. You know, maybe for the third, fourth time. Yeah, Um, this is the original or battery main system um, yeah for some reason this PMS or this board doesn't want to um, recognize the new battery that I'm putting in I really don't know what's the deal but yeah so unfortunately this is garbage yes and that is expensive garbage piece I'm not gonna lie yeah it is pretty expensive so right now I have my second battery right here already you know prepared and kind of ready to go um you guys know the deal I need to you know remove everything out of it and put let me show you so this is the new board that I'm putting in which is different from the original one but this one right here comes with the bluetooth you guys can see right there well i don't know i don't know if is that the bluetooth or not i'm thinking that's where the bluetooth is correct me if i'm wrong but yeah um this one i got it from uh, aliexpress and i paid like 300 bucks ish so yeah like i said this board it's pretty expensive yeah so let's hope for the best because you know batteries and two new boards yeah that segue is gonna come out straight out of my nose it is like yeah you know so basically you know i'm hoping for the best I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to fix it with this uh, second board and we will see what happened because you know I'm trying to show you how to save money and actually I'm showing you how to spend money <laughs> yeah I just you know you know throw you know just blow up a hole in my uh, bank account kind of type of deal because you know 300 and a 300 and batteries was like around 500 bucks so that's roughly what like 1100 bucks you know I should have maybe left the Segway 400 bucks there instead of you know grabbing it 400 bucks so total right now I believe I'm like 1200 bucks into this project that I don't know even if it's gonna be able to run after that I don't know I mean right now I'm getting a green light it doesn't mean anything I mean I'm getting a green light yay I'm getting a green light for 1200 bucks you know instead of I don't know you know buy a game from a PlayStation you know or something I don't know yeah so let's uh, get our hands dirty and I'm gonna show you because here you guys can see I need to resolder every single one of them and then I have these little cables that have a specific you know place to go in and uh, yeah it's gonna be pretty fun I'm not gonna lie so let's get to it Don't forget guys, safety first. And it looks like I need to re-weld those batteries. So yeah, fun fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if you guys are doing something like that, <laughs> make sure that you mark which cable goes where. Cause right now I'm gonna just split it in two and basically I'm gonna make sure that everything gets re-welded again so all of the batteries are making a, you know, a solid connection. Okay guys, let me show you the damage. These two are loose. This one might be okay. The rest of them are looks like okay. But we will re-weld them again. For the purpose, I have this guy right here. And I think this is one of the better ones. We're gonna find out right now. If you guys wanna get this guy, I'm gonna put a link down below. Uh, it's from Amazon if you guys wanna try it out. Uh, this one it's a metal case. Looks like it looks like it's more sturdy and more better quality you know build than the other ones that I've used. Okay. So get those two. Okay guys, let's see.
make sure you guys are using gloves because it's getting pretty hot. <laughs> So I need to grab my gloves because it's pretty hot. And then one more thing, your leads from time to time, it needs to be cleaned up because they're getting burned. So this kit comes with this little file and you just, you know, just file it. Just a little bit, just make sure everything's clean. You guys can see how this one is um, a little bit dark, burned up, just go around and it should be good to go, yeah. Look at it, perfect. Now let's keep going. Okay guys, I got another one. Boy oh boy, this project is getting harder and harder, not gonna lie. I guess uh, at least we know that, you know, this weather is pretty good. Okay, got on. It was on eight. Now it's on seven. So looks like it's holding. What in the world is happening? I can't just keep replacing batteries. You know, maybe this video it's how you're not supposed to do it. I don't know. <laughs> you guys tell me. But uh, I'm just doing my best. And as of right now, not good. Not gonna lie. Hey guys, I got this half done. Yay! Let's hope that this one's gonna be better. Everything is cold. Okay, everything looks good on this end, so just gonna glue it. Actually, I'm gonna do the other side before I do that. Okay guys, I think that's it. No more welding. So I got my settings on six and on 0 0.5 seconds. So temperature right now, my temperature is 33 Celsius. The gear I gotta set up is on six and the delay it's a 0 0.5 on the display that this unit have. You guys can see it right there. Boom. So it really depends how thick is your metal, but yeah, we got everything interesting now this one is getting warm it's getting warm but not hot so I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes and i'll see if i need to remove it but uh yeah okay guys the better actually start cooling down so that's good so now we need to make sure to glue all the batteries all together Okay guys, I think we got them all. I think we're all good. So now the next thing will be this ah, fun stuff. So you have all of that. And then this right here is actually on the bottom. So I'll stick one side to the bottom and then the other side. This is how this is. It's gonna be like that. And actually down here, you guys can see it's covering one of the hoses. So I need to make this one a little bit bigger. There you go. So now let's the fun begin. I think it's the same exact pattern like this one, but just to verify, I'll look at that one that they have from the manufacturer. And yes, let me show you guys. This is the diagram from the manufacturer. So this is how we're gonna wire it up. So we start with B1, it is positive.
Okay guys, we start with positive and then we go negative. And it's basically positive, negative, positive, negative. Hey guys, need to, you guys need to be careful when you're sticking the installation pad because it's super sticky and I guess honestly I should have stick the wires through just like that and then just drop it down you know and actually do the white the solder and then actually I should have soldered these two wires on the end but you know I survived so if I can do it you guys can do it <laughs> so now here comes the interesting part wire all of that to that so I need to solder this guy there and my black one there, but I want to do first my positive and then I want to do my negative. So that being said, I need to be like that and then this guy should be like that. Okay guys, so if you guys are wondering which way, yes right here you're gonna see there is this wall. So this wall right here needs to slide right here all the way down and you guys need to be careful with the wires. Okay hey guys, make sure that all of your wires are tucked in. Now we need to check the voltage. Okay, 46 volt, but those batteries are pretty dead. So we're gonna find out, I guess, you know, how good of a job we did. And I'm saying we did because that's uh, me, not you guys, so let's see. Okay guys, well, the big moment has become. <laughs> Let's see. Can you guys see those two? Let's see. Okay, hope you guys can see that. We are getting two greens, but the most important thing is what's gonna happen here. So let's see, power on. Come on, we got sound this time, but let me research that real quick. See what's the problem. Okay guys, so I kind of researched it for a week. <laughs> yeah, so I actually, I don't have an Android phone. So I ended up buying one just so I can be able to diagnose um, the batteries and let me show you what I found out so right now I have the app open already when you click on the list you're scrolling down and it looks like I need to yep okay let me plug it real quick so I can um, get the first battery to wake up because right now it's not awake it's in a sleep mode so it doesn't drain the battery so actually that's it I think I should be able to do it with one hand okay Okay, there you go. Right now I have only the front plugged in. You guys can see that. Only one lights up as a green. And now, let me go again, open the list again. Now we're scrolling and there you go. You guys see, maybe, there you go. It says Segway. When you connect to that, now you guys can see the percentage, which battery, um, the voltage, what the voltage have, and you know, all the stats, amperage, you know, everything. And then you guys can go even more into service and then down here it has you guys have a operation settings battery diagnostic factory mode you know all these goodies that you guys can click on it like for example the one that i've used was this guy uh now he needs the code so can really see through the camera so you need to get okay and now we need to slide down and down here you guys can see i can reset the battery that's what i did and everything is working normally on this battery so now let me show you you know what's happening with the second one okay so for the second one when i plug it in it turns on for a little bit and then automatically shuts off and then for this one was kind of weird because i can show you right there you guys see that dxbt24 so that's the name of the bluetooth this one it's uh, a different uh 
supplier and uh, yeah since it's a different supplier i got this board cheaper that's why i got a two different ones because i was trying to save money trying to do this on a budget but you guys see what's happening when you're trying to you know get cheaper on special on parts like that i will have to open a dispute with the manufacturer or with the supplier basically from aliexpress and uh, yeah i will put a link down below show you which one it worked for me and which one it doesn't work for me so you guys know which one you know it's supposed to work and in the same time you know the segue saga continues i'm gonna have to you know make another video hopefully i'll get a new board or i'll send this one back and then i'll buy another board like that one and do you guys see that i just barely touched it and somehow magically turned on go figure and then when you go to look for it on the list you guys see that bt24 there you go so i click on it and there you go you guys see the same thing everything is good 96 the two so the orange and the red one that means those two are a little bit too high on the voltage side but boom do you guys see that already dies without no reason you guys will think you know hey you know because you haven't plugged it in that's why well let me show you what's gonna happen when it's plugged in so give me a sec a second just to set up and i will show you guys okay guys so i hope you guys are gonna be able to see that but right there i've got the harness plugged in to the segway and right now you guys can see i'm trying to turn the segway on and nothing like you guys can see this board is not even turning on like nothing's happening because right now this side the second the second battery basically you know the one in the back that's the one that's controlling all of the the boards on the segway just for the initial startup and right now it's not turning on you guys saw that like even the battery is not turning on it's not, not lighting up nothing see that nothing trying again nope absolutely nothing but let me show you now though if i can make it to turn on again for some reason like there you go now it's turned on you guys see the leds are blinking and everything it's you know working is do you, do you see guys like like it doesn't detect for some reason the, the segue like at all like nothing is happening now i'm gonna plug it in to charge it so you guys can see both of them are green right now you know everything is good but here there's this red light and then it's gonna be another red light that's gonna pop up down here and then this battery is gonna shut off so let's give it a little bit of a time i think it was this light right there the d74 that's the mark on the board i don't know what that really mean but for right now this battery is not accepted from the segway or something is happening i'm gonna try to turn it on again you guys can see it gives me an error because the segway is not detecting or is not like i don't know like communicating with this board for some reason it is weird but yeah let me see when is that gonna happen like for some reason like when it's cold or what is the first time uh this stay a little bit of a time but in the same time you guys saw that you know whatever i do i need to push the battery like on the board i need to push it to be able to make it turn on yeah it, it's i don't know it's weird and if i flip it if i put this one in the front and the other one you know here then the the segue is gonna make the same exact sound and everything Everything, it will act you know it, it will at least turn on i wouldn't need to make you know all of this you know manually push on the battery but you guys can see yep and i'm getting e01 f error so yeah i i don't know i don't know what's the problem with the uh with this second board that they bought and the two uh they're different ones i'm gonna have to show you guys to see the difference that for some reason the the bluetooth is different from the other one i don't know what's what's that that all about but yeah i don't know okay i'm gonna wait for a little bit and i'll show you guys what's what i'm talking about okay guys well um i don't know what to tell you i cannot redo the situation that i was getting you know with the board um no matter what i do the board is on and the crazy thing is is not shutting off the way how i'm telling you guys so yeah um uh, i'm gonna leave it charge overnight because right now it's showing that it needs to charge even that uh the app is showing that it's 96 percent full then the other one you guys can see the other one is blinking that mean it's fully charged so i think i'm gonna leave it like that and then i'll see tomorrow and uh yeah i don't know what to tell you guys crazy but for some reason it seems that this board is not being accepted from the segway it's like it's not communicating or something because uh, when i'm trying to turn it on right now when it's plugged in it just you know beeps 
and shows an error but if I unplug it it doesn't even power it up powered up so it seems like this board is not communicating you know with the Segway to turn on because if I swap the batteries if I put this one in the front and the front goes here in the back I have no problems plugged in plugged out you know uh, turn on the the remote everything communicating but you know as long if I keep the other board in the in the back if I do the you know do it this way where how is right now you guys see that I need the cord to be plugged in to be able to communicate with the uh, with the Segway I don't know it's a, it's a weird situation um like I said I'll open a dispute against this uh, seller and we're gonna go from there hopefully we can figure something out and if not yeah I don't know we'll see I really don't want to you know spend some more money into it so we'll see if i can get another you know board like that and i can send them this board back to them that's totally fine with me i will try another one but it seems like that this one i don't know it's not really you know working so we'll see well um i don't know what to tell you guys you know the segue saga continues so please don't forget to smash the like button for the youtube algorithm because uh you know we need some likes <laughs> for this video and uh, if you guys like videos like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel we are posting videos every single week every week every every week every new video or how what's what's the proper it's uh every week no it's a new week new video yeah i think it was something like that yeah new week new video so smash the like button new week new video subscribe you know like a one two three so uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching and um uh, I will, I will, I will see you on the next one.